we have to have a succession plan. I think the demand of our young people is clear. They are impatient. A sharp warning from former Ethiopian Prime Minister Hele Merim de Selen. Succession is often a hot subject on the continent. De Selen resigned last year after a wave of protests in Ethiopia. He's now challenged other leaders not to ignore the aspirations of their people. Otherwise, our young people disorganized, but they will create the thing which has happened in Algeria and Sudan. So I think young, energetic leadership has to lead us. Uh, this is their time. And we, the old leaders, should support them. You, we should be backbenchers. His theme on Africa Day centered around the issue of unity in Africa in order to overcome challenges. But he insists that the journey to full democracy should not be left to certain groups. Because of the class interest of political elites and business elites, we cannot leave democratization on the hands of these groups. Meanwhile, former President Tabombege has called on African leaders to learn from Ethiopia and sharpen their tools as the country's economy continues to rise. Ethiopia also is very important because for a number of years now it has responded under the leadership of the EPRDF in very, very interesting ways to the challenges of development a task which faces us globally on the continent, a challenge of development. The lecture came as African nations reflect on progress made since the formation of the Organization of African Unity 56 years ago. The organization has since been replaced by the African Union. Kailise Kumalo, Pretoria.